Boots. Mary J. Blige Boot is officially in the universe. It's yes. out there. It's, everybody's been requesting and asking for it. The announcement was made on stage while I was wearing them with a fucking fire outfit. Yes. But right now, they are available. Okay. Monday morning. Yes. Thank you. You can go and get them, Giuseppe. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Face from the streets, who I have a pleasure of speaking with. Shout out to Mary J. Blige, but bro, them shoes is twelve hundred. And you know what's so crazy? When I seen the price of them, and of course I'm not talking to the girls who really do the designer thing. Like that's really your go-to thing. That's been your bag forever. But I'm kind of talking to the people who were when the bulky Balenciagas came out, like, and everybody was running to the designer, like right before the pandemic, like, and, and still tied into it. I don't see as many people super designer crazy from like head to toe no more like they was at one point in time like it seemed like everybody's shoes had to be designed it had to be kind of like that i really seen like the massives kind of fell back from the od designer stuff like i said i'm not talking to the designer their whole entire life and you still do it as an adult and that's really your bag i'm talking to the people who kind of like it got super hot in the streets for a minute and then it was kind of like and it felt like it started probably with the Migos with and like that kind of like helped usher it in. And then it still had its way a little bit, like I said, right until like around the pandemic. And then I feel like maybe the last year and some change, it seemed like after those bulky Balenciagas kind of died out, I feel like people kind of kind of just like, all right, they ain't super designer crazy no more. Like maybe a designer t-shirt or, but that's it. Or I guess if you want to count like Chrome Heart as a designer, but I mean, I kind of don't, that feel more just like a high end streetwear brand. So you don't think you don't think it's going to move like she like you think? I mean, I don't know if it's a limited I edition, I guess, I but twelve hundred dollars. I feel like for a diehard Mary J. Blige fan, that ain't I, who it for who is for them? The people who buy those type of shoes. I feel like that that that's who it for. If you if you spending that kind of money for them shoes, I'm I'm. I, I you get, said how much is twelve twelve hundred? But was, I get what you're saying. But I'm to me, I'm just thinking just business wise. I'm thinking a diehard Mary J. Blige fan is realistically a woman is probably in her mid to late thirties, maybe yeah, mid to late thirties and up. So any, so a woman probably realistically, I'm going to say 35 and, and over is a probably that fits the category of a diehard Mary J. Blast man. I feel like that's a woman who realistically got a lot of responsibilities. I can't see her just running out yeah, to waste 1200 on yeah. some Mary J. I can't yeah. see it though. I do. I'm not, you missing what I'm saying? I mean, I'm up with shoes that they got. That's probably more than no, that. So you're missing my point though. Those shoes are more, you know, these, look, you seen the shoes? Yeah, the gold ones. Nigga, that's not an everyday shoe. It's not, but I'm pretty sure a lot of females out here who got those shoes that probably cost more than that ain't an everyday shoe. They, they are, but they, but they are, but no, but they are, but they ain't. Because let's say if you got a black pair, just red bottles, let's just use red bottles for oh, example. I get what you're saying. If I buy that, if I spend that 1200 I can't, I can't get it off, but so many times because it stand out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Out. So like, even like the, let's say them, them, um, the red bottles with the spikes and the glitter and all that, mm -hmm. you only can wear, you can't wear that every day. And that's, but so guess what? And that's, and that, and just because I've dated a woman who really was into the designer stuff. I know the difference. She was showing me, like, she'll point out the difference between the girls who really do it all the time. Like, those, they can get that shoe off because they got multiple pair. But if this is my first pair of red bottoms, most girls was running to the black one because I'm going to get my money's worth out of this. Especially, I'm going to get my money's worth out of it while the, the bottom of the shoe was red. That's why most of them post the shoe and showed it when it was like, they would even get the black ones or the new ones. And it'll be red and they can get a lot of wears out of them because that shoe is, it's a red bottom. It's, in a, it's an expensive shoe, but it's a neutral color where I can wear it multiple times. I get what you're saying because the because of the way it's designed is big. And it's, 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 it's yeah, that like a but, that but, high gold shoe. Like how often the, you gonna really be able to wear it? For but okay, $1, but, $1, but, but that's my question. Is like I mean, if you've seen the girls even with the Chanel little the um, what's the one with the lock on it, the, the little rain boots thing, you can wear them. So, so, you can you no, know, you can you can wear them, but you can't you can't wear them every weekend. You can you can you, but I feel like even with those gold, they can go with a lot of outfits. But it's not a it's not an outfit. I mean, it's not a shoe that you can get off. Every weekend, but, but okay, but time on. I glad you said. I glad you. I, I, I glad you bought that shoe. That black shoe with the lock. That I don't even. I didn't even know that was a Chanel shoe. But I I, I, I yeah, well, it don't Chanel. matter. Whatever it is, we everybody know what the shoe we talking about. But that shoe. They, but that's why most of them get them in black because they can wear it multiple times. It's not a shoe you can wear every weekend. But I can at least wear it once a month, maybe even twice a month. Depends on how often I go out. But and but but that's why I say if you because I get it in black. 
if you're spending that money, I feel like you're going to be able to wear it and, and you're not going to even trip off of because I paid 1200 I'm going to wear them for what they are for. And I'm fine with if I'm only wearing them maybe yeah, three I, times. No, listen to what I'm saying. I, I agree with you. If this was, I agree for the regular girls who always just wear designer recallers, you're absolutely right. They'll spend the 1200 and won't think twice about it. They're not even trying to wear it a bunch of times. They may wear it one time in the summertime with some like some booty shorts and then may throw them back in the closet until like the holidays or something and bring them back out like around Thanksgiving or Christmas or something. I'm with you on that one. I totally agree. But that's for the girls. I'm not, I wasn't even talking about them. I'm talking about the diehard Mary J. Blige fans where I feel like if this was a, or the girls who was running to just get the uh, Beyonce stuff, they're like the silver hats and stuff like those type of girls who really are super fans like that to do like match up whatever their their favorite artist feel. I feel like if it was a Steve Madden boot and it was probably like 150 I feel like they would sell out way quicker than a 1200 Giuseppe boot I could be wrong I'm not a woman I don't know but I've dated women I've bought enough stuff I feel like I kind of can understand it it's gonna be tricky with a $1,200 shoe that you only could wear once in what's a while what's the joint moment. that um what was it this um J-Lo and them the little Timberland looking joint well, that that's not a that wasn't an everyday kind of, but that was that was a, you got to think about back then. It was though. It was still a Timberland. So? I mean, I, I don't, that was a long time ago, and I was super young then, so I can't I can't really I can't. It's, it's hard to kind of that like, was kind of like one of those shoes that you couldn't wear with everything. Yeah, you couldn't, but I mean, they tried. I mean, I guess they tried, but I mean, uh, cool. Like I said, I'm, we neither one of us is women. I'm just giving my opinion on it because of the price point. I feel like if it was a cheaper price, then maybe I feel like more people will run to it. But we'll see. The summertime it'll be about. We'll see how many women run and go by. I don't think it's gonna be as many as Mary as it as it should be for her to make that a signature look for Mary J. Blige. I feel like if it was a Steve Madden shoe and it was cheaper, I feel like you'll see way more people with it. And probably if oh, it wasn't that gold, black. Yeah, about to say if it was black, if it was black, you probably would see way more people with it because black, I can kind of pull it off a little bit more. Like black, I can really get that off. I can get that off almost all summer with some booty shorts. Yeah. But the gold is a little bit like like you kind of like let's be clear. Like, dog, people going like that's gonna be a hard shoe to like really wear a lot. Like, even if you had a gold pair, just regular Nikes, like how or a pair of sneakers, how often are you really gonna be able to get them off like that? Shit, if I ain't taking pictures, I can get it off a lot. Yeah, but if you did, then what? That'd be a content creator. Well, I'm just trying out different outfits in them joint. Yeah, I mean, I guess people do do that. But anyway, in other news, real quick, let's get back to Meek Mills because we kind of glance over the 